In this video, I'm going to show you a free Discord AI image generator. Now, if you're familiar with Midjourney, Blue Willow, or LimeWire, you know that those bots or AI image generators are now uh, either not free anymore, so paid, or not available in Discord directly. But this bot that I just recently discovered is called AI Image Generator and it works in Discord and is free. So that's a win-win situation. Now in order to get this bot, you have to just simply Google AI Image Generator free for Discord and you're gonna get it right away. Then you just simply invite it to your Discord server, okay? And right now I'm going to show you how to use it, okay? So it's pretty straightforward. It's basically pretty much the same as the others. You uh, type slash generate, and then you have to first put in a description. So let's say I want a cute cat holding a bottle of milk, okay? And for style, we're going to put one from this drop-down menu. You don't have to type, type it in manually. So let's say I want this neon punk style, okay? Then you press enter. And what's going to happen is this message is going to pop up, okay? Uh, and it tells you your queue position. So it is a free image generator. However, sometimes you're going to have to wait a bit of time in order to get your images generated because there are people waiting in queue and it's free. So it says estimated time 70 seconds. Um, and yeah, that's how long it usually takes. Not longer. I've never experienced it taking longer, as you can see. It's not even going to be 70 seconds and yeah the image is already generated and in my opinion that looks pretty decent okay uh, maybe it's a little uh, less of a quality than mid journey and stuff like that but definitely it does the job and it can be used for many different things now you can now regenerate or delete this image or upscale it but in case you want to upscale it uh, you're gonna have to buy a premium subscription however it does not matter because you can just download this image uh, and then upscale it in another software that's available online. That's it. 